Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This intraday video is for Monday, July 16th, 2012. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Dot com. Well, folks, we have one of the lightest days, if not the lightest day of volume in the markets here. And again, you can see the markets are generally floating sideways to slightly higher here as volume gets lighter. We've only done 62 million and we're nearing the 230 time frame on the SPY. Generally, we should be about a 100 million point. So it's almost 50% of normal volume. Based on that, again, you always factor in neutral to upside bias when the volume is light. And right now, the spiders are on the flat line down two pennies. S&P's down about one point. NASDAQ is down about five points. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 31 points on the day. So again, you can see the market starting to float up here towards the later session. A little bit of a double top resistance stands right here. And again, you can draw a trend line through the highs on Friday to the high today, which was just before the midday session. And that's where we're creeping into now. And if you go a little bit higher, you can actually possibly head up to this next pivot point at the 136 level and then nice double top here at the 136.20 level on the SPY. Now, bottom line is the markets are just waiting. Why? I mean, why do we have so much light volume? And essentially, as I just said, the volume is light because you're waiting for more news out of Europe. You're waiting for key economic news out of the U.S. this week. But I think even more importantly, what you're waiting for is earnings announcements. We have big earnings announcements that will begin later this week and head into next week. And the market's waiting for direction before it starts to have the heavier volume. A lot of traders are sitting on the sidelines waiting to hear which way this market will go. And again, what you're going to see here is just that consolidation, which is exactly what's happening today. And we will see again how that trades into the final hour of the day if we float to maybe new highs of the day, which I wouldn't be shocked at. The spiders are now turning positive uh, up about a penny on the day now, just inching up a little bit. Stocks on the move today. What's on the move? Well, Citigroup had earnings this morning. Uh, it's up about 28 cents. Not really a big move. You can see it gapped up and then fell right back down. It's now beginning to float up a little bit. The key is with Citigroup, a lot of people would look at those earnings and say, yeah, they were great. How come the stock isn't back at its highs or making new highs? And the easy answer is look at where the stock was on Friday and where it went to. So on Friday, it had a tremendous update, essentially factoring in good earnings already. And now, even with the gap up, it came back in, is now just going sideways from the highs on Friday. If you take the high pivot right here and just draw a trend line across, it's basically where it's trading. Okay? And you have to understand that. It's very, very important to understand that aspect. When you're going into earnings, when a stock runs up drastically into earnings, it's more likely to not necessarily get a huge pop on earnings because it's already gotten the move. All right, looking at a couple other stocks that are on the move today. First Solar, great move up $1.23. Beautiful little short squeeze there as that stock popped up, and it's trading near its highs. Uh, looking at Research in Motion, down $0.24 cents on the day. Amazon's down a couple bucks. We're also seeing Apple having a strong day today as well, up about $5 on the day. It's not a huge move on Apple, but considering the markets are flattish, that's not shabby at all. All right. Uh, Baidu's down a little bit, Google's down a little bit, Chevron's up nicely, uh, Exxon's down slightly, Goldman Sachs is up slightly, JPM's down. So again, it's a mixed picture here on the markets, and the biggest thing I can say is just continue to follow price, pattern, and time. Use the methodology that we teach. It's called the PPT methodology, price, pattern, and time methodology. And again, PPT also stands for Plunge Protection Team. And the beautiful thing about this is that the, the methodology works as if you're the Plunge Protection Team. You have that type of power in reading the markets and getting on the right side of the next move by using it. Our members continue to make money month after month, week after week. You can join us here by taking the seven-day free trial to the Research Center. If you're a swing trader, if you're an investor, the Research Center is for you. If you're a day trader, the intraday stock chat is for you. Very simple. And there's a seven-day free trial to one or both. You can take both of them if you wish. But again, the bottom line is... The money's there to be made. I'm up about 2 Gs today myself on day trades, but the key is just following the charts. You can swing trade. You can day trade. You can do whatever you want. The methodology works on all time frames. Again, I have setups later this week that I'm following very closely, and we will keep our eyes peeled beautifully to see where it ends up going. All right. Let me just scan through a couple other charts here, see if there's anything on watch. IBM's down about a dollar on the day. Not a big move there. Just kind of pausing here. Potash, P-O-T, is trading uh, up a little bit today. Decent little move. 
You can see the inflationary move is back with the market floating up. And look at look at this interesting chart on Potash. It had this early morning flush to get the weak hands out, then reversed. And then you got a beautiful bearish pattern right here setting up for this next up move. In addition, look at this, though. You're coming right into resistance on Potash right up here. It's a good intraday level, actually, for a possible pullback. And it looks like you kissed the underside of it. We'll see if we go into that level just a little bit more. But either way, I think great stuff there. I mean, that's what you can't, you can't ask for much more in terms of charting. And I, again, folks, Research Center, you get swing trade alerts. You get videos every single day and night. You get uh, No Hype Live broadcasts where you see live charts, live analysis, live questions will be answered. I mean, it's just one of many things. You get master levels on the market, on gold, on oil, on currencies. It's all in that thing for swing traders. It is the golden ticket right there. So I encourage you to come to themoneystocks.com. Take the seven-day free trial. Very easily. Start your seven-day free trial by going to inthemoneystocks.com. Research Center members choose. Obviously, your Research Center members are going to be the swing traders and the investors, while the day traders are all about the intraday stock chat. All right, guys. Have a great evening. Come join us here. Start making some money for the first time consistently in your life. Learn the math methodology. Learn the PPT. Take care.